neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Six. He got the first down and much more. I tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. Give to the tailback and he's met in the backfield. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read. Get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you. And that's what happened. That's good to play. Seven yards. That'll make it 35. quickly to the tailback and he's tackled at the 45 yard line he made the catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. USC's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 28. Here we go. Red 18. Tackle around the 29-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy he's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. They'll give it off here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Makes it to the 34. 
That makes it second and two. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. They try running left. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Trojans had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Here we go. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, first down. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes around the nine-yard line. Well, the offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Taken down in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. It's the 11th play of the drive. Looking for the corner, and he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. Mike two, Mike two. Gives it up the gut. He's taken down right around the eight yard line. USC is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29. The Trojans are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. A long way is yet to go, but at the end of one, USC's got a three-point lead. to the action now here in the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's to the 40. He's tackled at about the 49. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. knocked out immediately after the catch. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and to get up field for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. That makes it 
Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Touchdown, Sun Devils. Great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he converts the extra point. It was a seven-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Tackle at the 21-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. That's a deep Third down. Two down, two down. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. That's a deep First down. From their own 32-yard line. First down. And he's immediately tackled. their own 43-yard line. It's second down. Looks to his receiver, first down, and he's taken down at the 40. That's a game of 17. That makes it first and 10. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Here we go. Three in the eight. Three. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. And he just gets rid of it. This is the ninth play of this drive. up again on third down. There's a strike complete. That's good decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he's tackled right away. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. Second down and goal. Ball on the one. A short yardage defense here. Touchdown, USC!
That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12th play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle around the 35-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down around the 40-yard line. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Good open field tackle. Quick strike, and he drops it. From midfield, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out at the 46 yard line. He's hit and taken down. Makes the grab and he's got the first. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Finds his man, first down. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. play and it's going to be first and goal a good pick up there Woo, he better be careful let me tell you his throw had to be perfect and it was good coverage by the defense that time but sometimes that's not good enough kill, kill, kill. here's play number 10 on the drive hit immediately throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete he let that pass get away from him I think he's a little bit anxious he actually looked a little bit too juiced that time but he'll get the next one this one should be makeable Arizona State can tie it up here with this kick he gets it up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 32. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. 
Jesus, there's the tag. Second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 35. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. Takes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So we've played two quarters. This one's all even at 10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it and the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 35. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Two down, two down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. From the 39-yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield.
He's tackled at the 37. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He gets rid of this one. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Hand off. Brought down quickly. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. And that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now is the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. That makes it second and two. the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped from the 16 yard line first down and they'll run him again and he makes it out to about the 14 yard line the 16-yard line. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. He 
stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 51-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 17-10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Trojans continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's out of bounds at the 30. to that quickly and he's taken down right around the 42 yard line fires out to his receiver and he's tackled at the 49 yard line fights forward to about the 46. Nice first down there on the option. Yeah, the quarterback does a nice job here of pitching it out to the tailback. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. It's second and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. up the loose ball he really wanted that ball didn't he Kirk now you can't teach hustle like that the linebacker was determined to get the ball there and he did So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. USC is up a score. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 41. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Trojans with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. And they make the stop at the 38. That makes it first and ten. There's a strike complete. He's down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 32-yard line. That makes it 33. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Here we go. 
He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Oh, my. What a run that was. Oh, I'll tell you what. This kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Play fake. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Going long. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a four-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So our score, 24-17. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. USC is up seven. Makes it to the 34. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Runs it right. Nice pickup. From their own 40-yard line. First down. it to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 46. Nothing tentative on that run at all. 
He looked very determined and got the first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And down he goes at the 34. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. The halfback with a carry. Nice run there. Arizona State's out of timeouts. It's second and five here. Ball on the 29-yard line. It's to about the 27-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and it's good! Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. down 10 to go ball on the 40 under a minute left in the game and he throws it away decent run here right side Seal it up. He's taken down right around midfield. I think you can start up the bus, Herbie. This one's over with that interception. playing football of your quarterback. Take a knee. USC's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. 